Hello everyone, welcome to instrumentation tools. So let's open the app quiz meter. We are going to see the quiz zone of PLC. In that PLC true or false statements, we are having nearly 53 levels. In that we are going to see level 1 today. So without any further delay, let's go to the level 1. It is a true or false statement. We have to find out whether the sta given statement is true or false. The power supply of the PLC provides a stable voltage for the CPU, IO modules and other components. So it is a PLC is the controller which will be taking the input voltage and that should be stable for the CPU and also the IO modules. Then only the performance will be you know stable throughout the application right. So moreover that a power supply is the vital part of the PLC and as already we discussed it's providing stable and regulated voltage to all the devices connected to that and it ensures that the PLC can operate reliably and efficiently converting the available line voltage to the level required by the system. So the power supply of the PLC provides a stable voltage for the CPU, IVO modules and other components should be true. Yes, let's go for the true. In the second question, the in input output module in the PLC only handle digital signals. So a PLC is an industrial computer and it will be dealing with so many IOs that includes both digital and analog right because in process industries obviously we may face a analog outputs also right analog IOs also right in that case obviously we have to you know have the facility to intake the analog and we have to process and we have to fetch the output so input output module in the PLC handle both analog and digital so digital IO module handle the discrete signal like you know on off true false kind of you know signal and analog IO modules handle continuous signal like temperature or pressure reading kind of so obviously PLC should handle both analog and digital but the given statement is what the input output module in the PLC only handle digital signal obviously the answer is false let's move on to the third question PLC can communicate PLC can only communicate with the devices of the same brand so Nowadays in the industry if you see if you see it in the shop floor you will be having so many devices from the so many manufacturer from the different manufacturer obviously in the you know in the fourth uh, you know revolution of our industrial era we have to deal with the multiple you know devices from the various manufacturer in that case if a PLC is having a restriction to deal only with the you know uh, you know Siemens to Siemens or Mitsubishi to Mitsubishi these kind of restriction if PLC is having means obviously we cannot able to make our application possible so PLC often use an, often use standard protocols like Modbus, Profibus and Ethernet IP so it's allowing them to communicate with a wide range of devices regardless of the manufacturer so PLC can only communicate with devices of the same brand should be a false. PLCs were developed to replace the relay logic system. So in 1960s obviously before the invention of PLC they were relay logic and obviously the invention of PLC is actually depend uh, actually because of the troubleshooting issue with the relay logic so if you go back and see the history of plc you get to know the relay system is the base for the you know plc logic so plcs are invented to replace the relay logic system why because in relay logic we 
found so much of wires and so much of you know circuits will be there and the troubleshooting of our uh, troubleshooting that relay logic in the fault condition is really a very tedious one so that's what we introduced the plc so relay logic system used physical relays timers making them prone to wear and tear and complex to alter plc offers programmability easier troubleshooting and higher level of integration with various components so plc were developed to replace relay logic system is true a plc's operation is scanned continuously in the loop so a plc will be having a rung and it will be having the you know uh, kind of you know the power supply lines pass to rail and negative rail we call that as and what how it will scan from top to bottom it will scan okay so once the bottom rung comes again it will go back to the top because a plc is a you know a device which should update the process continuously in that case obviously it have to read the data process the data and we have to fetch the data to do this it have to run continuously right so the plc operation is scan continuously in a loop is true because as i told a plc operates by a continuously scanning its input evaluating the control logic what the user have written inside the cpu you know then updating the up outputs accordingly this process is called as a scan time a scan cycle and it repeats in a loop as long as the plc is operating so a plc operation in the scan con scanned continuously in the loop is true sixth question a plc's central processing unit is responsible for executing user written control program so a uh, industrial controller obviously it will be having the processor and a cpu is a brain of the system and it's responsible for executing user written control program it processes the input implement the logic defined in the program and control the output accordingly the cpu also manages other functions such as communication diagnostics and system monitoring making it a critical component in the overall functioning of the plc so a plc central processing unit is responsible for executing the user written control program is true seventh question a plc's memory is generally divided into data memory and program memory so in the previous question we have seen this is the cpu and obviously a processor is there means obviously a memory unit will also be there so a plc memory is typically divided into two categories data memory and program memory data memory stores variables flags timers and counters and other data used in the control program program memory stores the actual control logic including the instructions sequences and functions so this separation between the memories ensure efficient organization and assess supporting the real time processing and control need of the plc so yes a plc memory is generally divided into data memory and program memory is true eighth question a plc can only perform basic logic operation so a industrial computer is performing a base only basic operation means how come we can implement this controller in the huge shop floor so the answer will be the false a plc is much more versatile than handling a simple basic logic in addition to fundamental boolean logic like kind of and or not it can perform arithmetic operation data manipulation process control functions communication with other devices and even support advanced algorithm and there are the backbone of many industrial process allowing a complex control and interaction between different machinery and sensors so a plc can only perform basic logic operation is false 
So ninth one, a programming devices are not responsible for the PLC as they are pre-programmed. So what will be the programming device necessary for the PLC? A PLC may be a pre-programmed in some cases, but in in current era, a PLC cannot be programmed without a programming device. At least you need a handheld device for doing the basic logic operation. A programming device is such as a computer with specific software, as already told, the handheld programming terminals are necessary to develop download and modify the control program for the PLC. While some PLC may come with pre-programmed function or templates, but the ability to customize the program to suit the specific control task or operation in the fundamental characteristics of the PLC requiring uh, appropriate programming device and skills. So programming device is necessary for the PLC. So the answer is false. So the last one, PLCs are immune to electrical noise. So a industrial computer obviously build with you know the future which can withstand the high temperature and also these electrical noises. Also it is designed with the industrial robustness and ha can handle harsh environment. They are not entirely immune to electrical noise. Electrical noise can interfere with signal integrity leading to enormous reading and behavior. Proper grounding and shielding and using twisted pad wires can minimize the effect of electrical noise. So PLCs are immune to electrical noise. Actually it is false. So we are done with all 10 questions. And yes we have cracked all 10 questions. So you can see your score and if you want to move to the next level you can move to the next level or you can review the answers. So why this is false, why this is true, kind of if you are having any doubt you can go to the new answers, review answers and you can share your score with your friends so that your friends can also you know try all these questions. So like this we are going to see so more level in our upcoming videos kindly like and share the video if you like and subscribe the channel thank you